So this one, Jimenez and Martinez. As we get set for the pros. Three fives, Mike Adams. These guys have the same color short, same body, uh, body type. Similar records, very evenly matched. What do you look for in a guy making his pro debut? You know, uh, it's a big step up from the amateur ranks, but um, Jimenez is in the same boat, though. You know, even though he's he's uh, he already made his debut, he's just one to know as a pro. So both these guys are pretty equal, equal playing field here. They both come in in very good shape as well. Yeah, they both fought for us before. Both guys have good coaching in their corners. They're both moving around real well. And again, pros, three fives. See how conditioning is going to, if it's going to be an issue. I, I never believe it is an issue until you really get into the late stages of the fight, especially if there's been a lot of activity and both fighters have been on the ground a lot. Chess match right now. Yeah. Again, tonight's fight brought to us by our good friends at Flat Iron Sports Bar. I've seen a good stand-up game right now. Jimenez a real focused. He's letting J. Rowe throw those shots, and yes. he's really staying, keeping his eyes focused on him. Martinez trip attempt there. Oh, Martinez is bouncing up and down too. Go exchange knees. Under three to go. Round number one gets the first takedown, Mike. Pops right back to his feet though. I'll tell you, for two very young guys and one making their pro debut, they, they, they don't they don't look like they're young fighters. When I say young fighters, it's truly time inside the uh, the octagon, time they inside the cage. They both look sharp. Cardio is the key. We'll see how their gas tanks hold up as this fight moves on. There's the takedown attempt. Yep. But again, uh, j Row looks like he's popping right back to his feet. Good job. Yeah, Martinez quick to his feet. Now he's got Jimenez pressed up against the cage. Under two to go, round number one. A little roll reversal here. Yes, it is. Looking to trip that leg, unsuccessful. You mentioned Martinez making his pro debut form one as an Annie. Jimenez 1-0. His win was back at CFFC 31. Trying to pull that single leg out. Again, unsuccessful. Buck 30 to go round number one. Nice throw. Yes, it was. Martinez overcommitted. Jimenez made him pay for it and gave him a ride. Yeah, action's starting to heat up now. Oh, good left. Then a knee. Another nice throw. Wow. That's his patented wrestling move right there. A little hip toss. It's almost Taylor made on that hip toss. Yes, it's twice he popped him, but uh, Jimenez ends up, or Martinez rather, ends yep. up on top and in side control. I think early on in the round, it was, it was Martinez, and then a couple of those dumps and throws by Jimenez, but now last 40 might be up for grabs. It's definitely close. Lost it back at ahead. Yeah. I thought he was going to be worn right there. Jimenez doing a real good job holding, uh, or Martinez rather, holding Jimenez down. Under 20 to go. Nice sweep attempt to see where they end up.
back up to their feet. Very spirited first round. That was an excellent yeah. scramble right there. A lot of fun to watch. Very athletic, good skill. Round number one between Jimenez and Martinez. They good round. Close it out. Good round good action. Man. Round two. Uh, J. Rowe Martinez. And Martinez with the longer trunks. Jimenez with the black tights. I'll touch him up. Round number two. Martinez backs away a little bit. Now it's Jimenez the stalker. Kind of how we saw early on in round number one. Look yeah, at, he, look at that focus. Robert's got some serious focus in those eyes right now. He's looking to counter J. Rowe. He's mixing that teeth kick too. Comes back with a left. Nothing doing on that haymaker. Thought about it. Pulled back. Nice kick to the body that scored there. Yes, it did. Comes back with an outside leg kick and then a tee kick. Not a lot of damage. See if Jimenez goes for the takedown. Thought he had that body lock. He'll break free. So, minute in round number two. How'd you score round number one? That was a close round. Close round, and it was fun to watch. I wouldn't want to be a judge in that first one. Martinez, not, almost hesitant as if he wants to bait. Jimenez a little bit with those key kicks. But he's doing some good damage with those inside and outside leg kicks as well. That's not allowing Robert to, to shoot in if he wants to shoot in. j Rowe's a little lackadaisical. You don't like a where little, his hands are? Too, no, and, and I could see Jimenez blasting him. And he does right there, connects, and he comes with an elbow flush. Pardon me, a knee. A little too loose in Put close the quarters. Chops. Yeah. No, you're right, you're absolutely right. That's a fair point. And he's walking in with his hands down right in the pocket. Yeah. No fear. Fake the Superman punch there, and he almost got caught again. I mean, Jimenez doesn't have the longest reach, but. Through two minutes, through two in round number two. And a three to go. Jimenez and Martinez. And now you start to see who has the better gas tank. Again, Jimenez tries that throw. Just throw and dump down with his Martinez shoulders. reverses him. Beautiful job by Gerald Martinez. Martinez trying to get full guard now. Dominant position. See if he starts raining down a little ground and pound Mike. Nice sweep and get up. Almost had the sweep there. Good Jimenez. Full mount. See if he works a little ground game now. Full mount and a high mount by J. Ro Martinez. See if he can capitalize on this. This is not where Jimenez wants to be. No. Couple haymakers. Under two to go, round number two. Yeah. Two minutes is a long time to carry. Good job. He's trying to turn from underneath there. Those punches are more of annoyance. Well, a couple of them are landing, but they're more of an annoyance. Did a good job of pushing him off. Let's see if he can get back to his feet. Nope. Buck 30 to go, round number two. He's not in the full mount anymore, which is very good. Watch the elbow. Yep. Beautiful elbow there by Jero. Hand about, on the face. How about Martinez right now? Pretty content. Yeah. Stay on top. Land some ground and pound from here. Ken Martinez making his pro debut. Good job by Jero there, getting that left leg out in the side control. Now he's looking to move right in the mount. Good move again by Jimenez. Nice transition there. Oh, now he got caught. Well, now j has his back. Fatigue setting in. I think that's what's uh, causing some of these mistakes. 
These are not mistakes that Edel Federer would make in the first round. And now J. Rose, a little ground on strong. Hand. Yep, trying to finish out the round with a flurry under 20 to go, round number two between Jimenez and Martinez. He shouldn't have been able to get full mount again, but because he's so tired, him. he's allowing that to happen. Last two minutes of round number two, dominated by Martinez. Good round. And you'll see uh, Jimenez when he stands up, we'll see how tired he is when he walks back to the corner. See what he's got left in the tank. We'll see if they cool him down, if he sits down the right away. The third and, and right also final a round. He was dead a little bit. So again, Jimenez in the black tights and Martinez in the red and black trunks. They'll touch him up. The cameras didn't pick it up, but both fighters' hands were on their hips. Both fighters had their hands on their hips. Weird sign that you're tired and you win it. You're right, Mike. Martinez is content with just kind of sitting back and, and almost having, or part of me, uh, Jimenez is content. He uh, caught one right there in the groin, so he'll have a couple moments to recover. While he does, I was just going to say, it didn't look like there was malice, uh, malicious intent in that one. Um, Jimenez, it seems as though content to just kind of maybe let Martinez not exhaust himself, but exert himself to the point where maybe he can catch him. Maybe he's winded enough where he can catch him because Martinez is coming out, letting his feet go, letting his hands go, and we have not seen really anything from Robert, so maybe it's a little cat and mouse game right now. Yeah, the, the wrestling really worked for Jimenez in that first round. Not so much in the second. Oh, and he got caught. J-Ro pouring it on here. Yeah, Martinez ducked down. Got wild left by Jimenez, and then Martinez comes back. Connects on the chops. Jero has this very unorthodox, uh, unorthodox he does. style. And he does. Right in the pocket, too. Not from a distance. He stands right in front of him. Keeps his hands out. Lifts one leg up in the air. He can get away with that temporarily because he's very good mixing in a little Muay Thai. He's, he's got very good kicks, solid kicks that work. If he didn't have a very good solid stand-up game like that, which we see right there with his kicks, he would be in trouble. I would, he'd have to keep his hands up a little yeah, more. And the reach of, uh, of Jimenez isn't sure. the longest. Now, flying knee did land. Smaller fighter. Again, I don't know if Jimenez is just waiting, waiting, three minutes to go. See if he's gonna try to catch him. Now he's starting to load a little bit. Good exchange. Momentarily had Martinez up against the cage. Now he does. Smaller compact fighter trying to get inside a little bit. Connects with a right, misses. Tried to come with a wild uppercut. Oh, and he connects right there. That right hurt. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Martinez is hurt. He's stunned. Went for that throw again and missed it. Martinez had his hands down and paid the price. Not the same throw from the second round. Jimenez missed on that throw and it cost him. And now Martinez is on top. And that tells you right now, if there was an issue of the conditioning, that took a lot of strength too. He had to dial back a little bit of energy right there. He's got, I can't see if he's got Jimenez's left arm trapped there. But if he does, he's got a, yes, he's got a mount of crucifix here. And if Jero can isolate the right arm of Some Jimenez elbows. and rain down those elbows, yep. now he got his left arm out, which is good for yeah. uh, Because if he is, he's defenseless with those elbows. So it's great shot by the crew. Up. Yep. Buck 30 to go left in round number three. Little elbow for good measure. Good recovery, cause Martinez, I think, was hurt. He got clocked on that uh, on that on that left couple strikes. Yeah, he definitely was hurt. Nice push off. Let's see if they get back to their feet. Martinez is feisty, man. This is a great <laughs> back and forth yes, it battle. Is. These guys showing a lot of guts right now. I don't know what's keeping them standing up, man. They look spent. Good exchange. 
Another tee kick by Martinez. Jimenez still stalking him, moving forward, fighting forward. Under a minute to go. But Jimenez is gonna have to throw a caution to the wind now. He's got 45 seconds to do something, see if he can catch. Oh, Martinez catches him with a right. Got long reach as you alluded to, Mike. Man, a couple good shots there. 30 left. Pulls the single. Oh. How about Martinez coming back? He tried to jump guard and go for a guillotine. Missed it. Ends up on bottom. This could seal the deal for the third round for, uh, for j Row. It could be two round zip. j Row Martinez. Content as we close in. Of a spirited bout between Jimenez and Martinez. It'll go to the Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard. Judge Citron scores the fight 29 28. Judge Giantini scores the fight 30 27. Judge Cole Flesch scores the fight 30 27. And your winner by unanimous decision out of the red corner, J. Ray Martinez.